Hey guys, I'm back over at Pecana Park today. I'm going to practice some more fly fishing. I picked up a fly rod, a cheap one, over at Dick's Sporting Goods. This is it right here. A little small thing. A Martin. It's a lightweight, four to six pound. It's an eight foot rod. Got it upside down there, but um, just over here practicing with it. It came with some little fly lures, already pre-tied except for the lures. I practiced with it a little bit yesterday, caught some bluegills, still working on trying to perfect my casting. Watched a lot of videos. This time I got the wind, a little bit at my back, so hopefully that'll help. One of the problems I was doing yesterday on my own was not having enough actual fly line. This orange line out gives it the weight it needs to whip back and forth. So I'm going to pull out about 10 feet or so. And practice my casting. And see, you guys might get a little dizzy from this. I should probably wear my chest cam for this. I was able to get a bunch of bluegills yesterday. I know there's trout in here. I don't know if I'll be able to cast it out far enough for trout or not. Gotta watch for people. Try to find a spot where there's not too many kids, but oh, just got a bump right there. Trying to bring this in. While I have a little break here, I'll show you. I've got a very small, the kit came with about six little flies. This is one of the smaller ones. which I was mainly using so that I could try to see if I could get some bluegills, if nothing else. Oh, oh, just got one. Just got one. We got something. I think we got something there. Let's see what we got. Oh, that was a good cast too, and we got something. I think it's a bluegill. Let's see. We got a little bluegill. Alright, there we go. We'll take it. There we go, guys little bluegill he hammered that thing for a little guy let's get him off and get him back out there all right there you go little bluegill thanks for the first bite buddy I hope this camera is at a good angle might just be easier to capture me trying to fly fish better than what I was doing with my head cam.
Well, we got another one there, and then I just was reeling it up to take a quick break, and another one hit it on the way up, and he fell off. So I've had two fall off, and we've landed two on the bluegills. So I'm going to keep trying and keep practicing. This is mainly just about learning how to practice how to cast a, um, you know, a fly rod. So that's all I'm basically doing today. And when I hook into fish, that's just a bonus. So stay tuned. Another bluegill. Another little bluegill. Switching back to the head cam to get you guys some better views from that third person view. I'm not sure how well that's going to turn out anyway. I'm going to try not to look back so much, even though I probably should, since I'm still learning. But I think I'm getting a little better. Now the fly that I tied on here was a really small fly for a reason, because it has a small hook. And I knew I may not get trout here, but I can probably get the bluegills which I've been getting so I'm kind of practicing more or less just fly fish and bluegills and if I get lucky and a trout comes up and smacks it well then great I was using a larger fly the first day I was practicing this and um, the bluegills were smacking the heck out of it but the hook was too big so I decided to go with a smaller fly for the small bluegill here so that I could at least catch something So this is only my second time out here using the fly rod. The first time I didn't cast very far. I was more or less just trying to learn the casting and I realized after watching more videos you need more line out there because the line is what gives you the power to get out there and cast properly having more line. So I'm still looking back, I apologize just a habit and I'm also watching the the street behind me to make sure nobody's walking up the sidewalk here either direction it's been kind of a busy day and I have another um, type of fly rod coming in tomorrow it's called a tenkara it's a reelless one it doesn't have a reel on it it's collapsible made for just more like mobile backpacking and stuff it's a japanese type of fly rod so i really want to learn how to fly fish it's a really fun way to catch fish and with the trout being stocked i definitely want to learn and get better and try to catch a fish on a fly i mean we've gotten plenty of bluegills but maybe I can eventually move up to trout and then maybe bass and other things. I was fishing over at that Rancho Mirage development here in Maricopa the other day trying to catch bluegills on spinners and grubs and stuff. The place that Anthony and Jay turned me on to. 
and I was having no luck. And after I had been doing that for like an hour, one of the local one of the local guys that lived right over there in the rancho showed up with his fly rod and his son and was giving me some great advice. I'll link that. I'll show that in here from the other day. And uh, he literally caught a bluegill within about five minutes on his fly rod after I had been trying all kinds of spinners and grubs with no luck. So I was like, you know what? I really need to try this. It looks like fun. These fish like to come up and hit things that hit the surface like bugs and stuff. Some little guys in here. I caught carp on this. Oh, on the fly? Yeah, on the fly. The carp? You know, I got one for you, dude. This will be for your, uh, your channel. Yeah, I'll... So, these bean pods, oh, I need a good one. Oh, it's a sweet pod. Give me a good one. Local advice is always awesome. That one? Got a good one? Here you go. Check these this out, brother. Carp. Check this out. These carp in right. the lake, I don't know how the other lakes are, but right. this lake, these carp love this stuff. The bean pods, huh? Yes. I noticed that one day when I was fishing down there and there was some floating in the water. And uh, so every time when I go over there, I just throw a whole bunch in the water and they come up and eat them all. So what I started doing was just breaking like that much off right and then putting on the hook oh that's a great idea it to the bottom and it floats too that's perfect yeah, that's a right? great idea yeah. and uh but what i did i made a fly because i tied my own flies right and i mimicked that pattern right there with some regular craft foam and it works like a chance wow right that's crazy oh dude i've caught some big carp on the fly out that here. must be crazy to bring them in on the fly oh, rod it is. I've been wanting to learn how to do that. You know, uh, I tell everybody, if you have a chance, try it. If you fish, if you love fishing, try it. Yeah. Because I love fishing. That's all I live and breathe fishing. I even got my own, uh, my own logo too as well. Oh, cool. Mine's TWF. Nice. Yep, I got t-shirts. <laughs> nice. Well, my name's James. Nice to meet you. James? Dude, I'm Hank. Hank, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, likewise, brother. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I fish all the time, so yeah, that's my channel. I'm hooked by Hurley, yeah. and I try to go out all over Arizona and the different stuff. I fish a lot at Pecana because it's right by my house. I live out here in Maricopa, so. Right. And any of you guys watching that are fly fishermen, I can always use any advice. And uh, if you guys want to go fishing sometime and you have... You're pretty, you know, if you're not a fly fish, maybe you can go with me and teach me or show me some pointers because I'm still pretty bad at this. I mean, the bluegills seem to be pretty easy to catch because they'll come up and hit just about anything, but it's still fun to practice something new. I know my technique is not the best, but it's only my second day out here, so I've only lost one lure, hooked into one tree, hooked into the ground a couple times tied a couple knots in my line but for the most part I think I'm doing okay yeah if you guys aren't um, already following me on Instagram oh look at that I went to go I went to go throw it and there's a bluegill on there I wonder if I threw him off he was so light I just almost threw him into the wall he might have fell off of course, I probably set the hook from doing that. Yeah, he's still on there. Uh, he is so light, I almost casted him with when I was going to throw it again. That was funny. There you go, guys. That's probably like the fourth or fifth one today. That was funny. I, I almost threw him into the wall. I didn't even know he was on there. All right. So I'm pulling out a little bit of line here because um, things I read online say you want it like about 10 feet or so of line. It helps you, you know, with the casting. You need the weight of this uh, fly line. Make sure there's nobody around. And then what I do is I start with it kind of short. 
and then I kind of slowly pull out like a foot at a time and work my way out further and further as I cast. And it is easier to cast when you have longer line actually, a little bit longer at least. I'm still working on my form. I can tell when it's not a good cast by how my line coils up when it hits the water. I want it to be more, more straight. But I was saying before, if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, you can go to Instagram and look up Hooked by Hurley, and you can follow me there. And that's where most people message me through the messaging service on uh, Instagram. And I'll get back to you pretty quickly, and we can try to get together. And even if it's not fly fishing, if you guys just want to do regular fishing, bass fishing, cat fishing, whatever, I'm always down for meeting new people trying new spots or old spots. And if you're watching the video, thank you already. The channel's grown a lot this year. Over 300 subscribers now. Great comments. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm just trying to keep learning new methods of fishing. Basically just learned how to bass fish a couple of months ago. Now I'm trying to learn how to fly fish. I want to try to do all kinds of fishing. Any kinds of ways to catch fish, that's what I want to do. I just love catching fish. This was a cheapy little rod here, this Martin Classic Fly Tackle Rod. Came with a complete set from uh, Big Five down here in Maricopa. It was 40 bucks. Came with a little thing of tackle, I think about six flies. The line was already tied on here so you had your normal fly line and your leader line that was all tied on all you had to do was attach the fly and put the you know put the rod the little reel on the rod it comes in three pieces so for for 40 bucks i thought it was a good deal for a starter rod i'll put a picture for you guys uh, i took a few pictures of it because it's so long and i'll put it in here for you if you're interested But I think for 40 bucks, it's not a bad little rod. I mean, get you out there on the water and, you know, you can practice with it. Hey, but thanks guys for watching today. It wasn't the most exciting video, but I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. Just trying to learn how to fly fish. Like to get back out fishing with some subscribers. So hit me up guys on Hook by Hurley. And let's get out and do some fishing this week or next week here before Christmas.